Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up a bunch more packs for some patrons. Our patron list is growing, it seems like week by week. Uh, I am greatly thankful for everyone who is participating in that uh, and just participating in the channel as a whole. Uh, kind of across the board, our numbers are kind of going up. So thank you to everyone who participates, who watches, gives us those views, gives us your time. Um, we honestly, we, we couldn't ask for more. Um, before we get into cards though, holy cats. Okay, so there's something going on. Um, I normally don't cover or do stuff like magic events, but there is a huge thing coming up in magic. Um, as some of you may know, aside from magic, um, I, I love comics. I love comics as well. Um, I have a modest collection uh, but the comics I do collect, I collect hard. And uh, the Magic the Gathering comics, um, I have every one ever made. Um, I'm currently working on completing my collection of the ones that are still sealed with the cards in it. I'm only missing two issues uh, before I have a complete set of opened and a complete set of sealed ones. Uh, but I digress. The comics are coming back. That's right. You heard me correctly. Uh, November 14th uh, is the date that IDW, uh, the publisher of the new Magic comic book, uh, that's the day they're going to put stuff out on the shelves. Uh, so far we know that Chandra is going to be the focus of the first, I believe, first part of the series. Um, we saw a cover of the third issue, which also has Tabalt, which that's kind of cool, but I am I am so geeked. Um, I have already contacted uh, BC Comics and Games and had them set aside a complete set. Uh, I want every issue they put out, I want one of every variant cover they have. Uh, for the first issue, there's going to be three different covers. Um, and because I am just so ecstatic about this, and I love sharing this stuff with you guys, I'm actually getting some extra copies uh, to give away uh, to some viewers and some patrons, and it's just, it's going to be amazing. I am so geeked about this. So, uh, but now that we've, I've said that little bit, let's go ahead and get on uh, to the first part, which is going to be our giveaway uh, for those of you who commented uh, this last week and then uh, this past Tuesday. Uh, essentially, I think that's what we're going to do from here on out, is we're going to shoot for uh, every Thursday video is when we're going to give out uh, the free pack, and it's whoever commented on the previous Thursday and then that Tuesday's video. So uh, we're going to jump on over here to my favorite site, Wheel Decide. Uh, we've got a nice full wheel. Um, you know, I can remember it wasn't that long ago when we had like six names on the wheel, and this is just, uh, this warms my heart seeing this. So anywho, uh, we're going to jump over to random.org, we're going to roll ourselves a couple six-sided dice. What do we get here? We got a seven, so we're going to click this wheel seven times, and then whoever comes up, uh, you're going to be the winner of the random pack uh, of cards for this week. Congratulations, congratulations. Good luck to everybody <laughs> that's involved. We got once, twice, thrice, four, five, six, and seven. And congratulations to Tim Bister. That was like out of here. Tim Bister, the Bister are the winner uh, of this week's extra pack. Uh, go ahead and contact me with your mailing information. I think I still might have it, but I, I don't entirely know. Um, so anyways, we'll go ahead and we will do uh, Tim's pack first. I should probably start the camera up here. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, frog in the throat. Uh, so yeah, you know, we got Tim's pack here. We're going to do a Guilds of Ravnica. This is the last pack from the box. Um, and actually we, we had a Doom Whisper come out of it, um, out of this box. And what else did we have? Um, now, I, I don't recall, but I we've only pulled two Mythics out of this box, so um, someone should be getting a Mythic here tonight. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and skip through all this, because there's really nothing in the uh, Commons section that's really of anything to be concerned about. We got ourselves a Rock Charger, we got a 
Crackling Drake. That's not bad. We get a Sunhome Stalwart, and we got an Ionize. Okay, that's not too shabby. <clears throat> well, that right there is for you, Tim. Uh, like I said, go ahead and shoot me a message on something. Essentially, uh, shooting the message, shooting me the message. That's just going to claim the prize. Uh, give me your address anyways, because I'm not entirely sure if I still have your address or not, but anywho, uh, let's move on to our Patreon build a pack box. This is, oh, we're in the wrong end. <laughs> there we go. Fun and a bun. Okay. So first person we have, uh, doing our little thing today is, uh, Golden Bow Huntsman. Uh, thank you very much, sir, for being a pra patron. It was greatly appreciated. He is one of our many uh, investor-level patrons. Um, that's uh, it's ten bucks a month, and for ten bucks, he's getting uh, two packs of standard, and then he gets uh, he gets a pack of our build a pack box. So first of all, we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and pick randomly a card out of here to autograph, which is going to be a guardian of the guild pack. <clears throat> Excuse me, man, my throat is just. Not cooperating tonight. All right, so we're going to go with this guy, and we'll go to the other end. We'll go to this guy. Got ourselves a uh, common or uncommon worth at least a buck. Random foil. We'll go towards the front for this one. A foil basic. We're going to pull off the very end here. I don't know what that is. Uh, all of this is random. And then we get 10 cards out of here. These are all commons, uncommons, with the occasional uh, rare thrown in, occasional foil. And we do have uh, prize cards in here, like you get an extra pack of standard. Um, I think we got extra rares in here, extra foils. Um, and actually, we, uh, we need to be... Uh, hopefully it doesn't show up there. I just got a message. <laughs> um, hopefully... Uh, we're going to have to get some more of those uh, prize cards in here because I don't think we added... No, we did. We added some the last round of people uh, that we had signed up because uh, generally it's it's towards the beginning uh, or the end of the month that people sign up. So I'm not even counting here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so we need two more cards out of here. We'll go this one and then we will go this one all right once again golden bohunsky thank you very much it is appreciated we to go ahead and see what golden got here he got himself a chiffet monitor uh hey there's an a rare uh urza's ruinous blast electrify we got a uh, gore clan rampager that's fun uh stone quarry is that oh that's a foil hey you got you got a foil stone quarry all right not kind of, yeah, we got lots of random stuff in here. Uh, we got Ridge... Regicide? Regicide. There we go. What is... Oh, that's Conspiracy. I'm like, what is that? Set <laughs> eh. Wizard's Retort. Um, Circuitous Route. I, I don't... I think that's how it's pronounced. I should probably look that up. We got a Sprouting Renewal and a Corpse card. That's actually not a bad card. I like that guy. All right. For his random foil basic, he got a uh, M19 Forest. Random foil is a Ferrovore out of Scars. Uh, we got a Hypnotic Spectre. Um, like I said, double check. I'll make sure that's oh, at least a dollar. If it's not, we'll go ahead and replace it for you. Now for the part we're all waiting for, the rares. We got ourselves a uh, Jury in Ruin Diver. And then, hey, we got a Boros Reckoner. That is not too shabby. All right. Well, congratulations, Mr. Bohunsky, uh, on those. Now let's go ahead and see what the packs contain. Let's see. Mr. Bohunsky's had some, uh, some rather good luck with uh, his previous openings he openings here um yeah he's he's had some good ones uh i said we'll go ahead and skip past all this because there's really nothing of interest okay uh we got a demotion we got a conclave cavalier inescapable blaze and uh unmoored ego okay Go ahead and see. Hopefully we get something good in this last pack. Like I said, all these packs, this is the end of a box. 
and I'm pretty sure we've only pulled two mythics. And, but even if I'm wrong, um, it would only be, I'd be off by maybe one, so it's three. So even then, we should still have at least one mythic left in the box. Uh, we got Necrotic Wound. I'm liking this card more and more that I play. I really dig this thing. Uh, we got House Guild Mage. We got Thought Erasure, and we got a Runaway Steam Can. I love this. This is my favorite card uh, from the set. This card is bonkers. Absolutely bonkers. So good hit on that. All right. Well, Craig, congratulations, Mr. Bohunsky. Um, that is greatly appreciated. Uh, you being a patron. And uh, these are, oh, these are, okay. You know, I'm going to set these aside just to make sure I don't, mix this stuff up so this right here is golden's all right um yes thank you very much sir greatly appreciated next person mr jeffrey peters thank you very much sir for being a patron uh he is also a one of the investor levels so we're getting two packs of standard here and go ahead and pull something to get a scribble on and it's oh it's older it's a uh, ooh dragon breath uh if you had a chance we've got a deck deck tech up that uses uh, all of these dragon stuff. Um, it's called Dragon Pants. Check it out. It's kind of amazing. All right, we're grabbing two rares. One, and then we're going to grab the very last one here, see what that does for us. Uh, the Uncommon or Common worth at least a buck. The Random Foil. We'll pull towards the front on this one. Uh, we'll go towards the back on the Random Foil Basic, and then ten of these bad boys. One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. All right, Mr. Peters, good luck to you. Let's see what kind of good stuff we can't pull. All right, we got ourselves uh, a spring in mind. Oops. Uh, Azorius Guildmage, Massive Raid, Blessed Alliance, that, that's a good card. Uh, we got Pax Favor, uh, Rosemane Centaur, Take Heart, Veiled Shade, another Blessed Alliance, um, and Fight with Fire. You know what, um, I'm going to go ahead and pull one more just uh in case because we don't like giving out doubles but if for whatever reason you want two blessed alliances let me know and then i'll go ahead and throw it back in uh so the replacement is impeccable timing so like i said please let me know if you actually want a second uh, blessed alliance and we'll go ahead and do that for you all right his foil basic is uh we got a dominaria swamp the random foil is a guild majors forum that's not bad foil rare uh hey we got a lightning bolt there is a is that i can't tell if that's something on the card or if it's uh like a misprint um i'll go ahead and check it out and uh if it's like damaged or something and it takes it below the you know the one dollar mark we'll go ahead and replace it for you but it's a bolt nonetheless so that's kind of cool all right for our rares we got inexorable tide uh you know this thing saw a lot of hate for a long time this was like a 25 cent rare and uh it's done things since then all right and our other one is hey we got a core spirit dancer that's not too shabby all right let's go ahead and crack open our packs here let's see what kind of good stuff we can get uh, let's get past all this it is a boros challenger gatekeeper gargoyle that route that i have trouble pronouncing in our rare is uh Izzoni, thousand eyed all right that in pre-release that thing is in limited that is such a good card if you can get that late game just dump a ton of insects on the battlefield um you know, enchant them up i mean it's just it's good stuff there and then the card draws is, is kind of good all right we got a lava coil that's not bad at all 
Uh, we had an Ocran, Ocran Assassin, I think that's how it's pronounced. A Rampaging Monument, and hey, we got an Overgrown to Oh, and we got a Foil Plague Catcher. Uh, I just looked at this. Um, the Foil Plague Catcher went up a little bit. I want to say it's two or three bucks last time I checked. So, not a bad pack at all for you, sir. Once again, uh, Jeffrey Peters, thank you very much for being a patron. It's greatly appreciated. Um, yeah, that's. This is how we can do the cool stuff we can do. All right, next up we have Jordan Williams, uh, who is another investor level uh, patron. So two packs of cards, and then we've got another. I don't know how these mountains keep getting put in there. <laughs> I mean, if you want me to sign that mountain, uh, I can. But uh, we've got a massive raid. And I'll go ahead and get that sign. I, I don't know. I must have accidentally put some in there. I don't know. Uh, we'll grab two. We're going to grab kind of more from the middle for this. these two. And then, oh, we're skipping too far. Common or uncommon. Foil. Foil basic. And then ten of these. We got one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> All right, once again, this is for Jordan Williams. Uh, he is uh, he is one of our uh, eleven, or excuse me, <laughs> ten dollar patrons. Yeah, make sure I got enough here. All right. Let's see what we got. We got Trial of Solidarity. We got Nurok uh, Invisimancer. Mental Mist Up. That's not bad. I'm not sure where it's still at, but I know for a while it was up there. We got Agoraphobia. Murder. Uh, Winged Shepherd. Warping Whale. That's fun. Walking Corpse. And a Foil Knight's Pledge. And Splendid Agony. All right, our foil basic is, oh, uh, the Graveborn deck, one of the swamps. Uh, no idea what this is at, but that's kind of cool. Uh, our foil is a Loxodon Wayfarer. Uh, we got Birchlore Rangers. All right. And our first rare is, uh, we got Vener Venerated Loxodon. You got a pair of pair of Loxodons in here. Look at that. And they're all happy together. <laughs> Next rare is uh, Bishop of Binding. Not too shabby. All right, so, I mean, mathematically speaking, there should be a Mythic in one of these two packs. There really should be, because so even if I counted wrong and I pulled three, on average, there are four Mythics per box. So, uh, fingers crossed. All right, we got a boredom element elemental wand of vertebrae, thoughtbound phantasm, and a hatchery spider. That's not the mythic we were looking for. Okay, we'll try again. Last pack from the box. All right, let's see what we can't get you here. Something good. Something. Good. All right, we got ourselves a Beacon Bolt, a uh, Pilfering Imp, Inspiring Unicorn, and Mission Briefing. Okay, you know, that's not bad. Mission Briefing is not a bad card. Uh, that does let us know that that was not a very good box, though, with uh, only two or three missiles. So, but you did, like I said, Mission Briefing, uh, that's kind of good stuff right now. So. Anywho, uh, that's what we got here today. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. 
If you liked what you saw here, do us a huge favor. Click that like button. Be sure to hit subscribe. Be sure to hit that little bell notification button so you can tell them we have new stuff coming out. And then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching. And as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do us one last favor, check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.